Did you know that musk ox or musk oxen are not oxen? They're actually more closely related to goats and sheep. In fact, they're considered the largest goat living in the Arctic, compared to Arctic wolves to be exact, like any other animal. The musk ox is the animal battling in the Arctic with great strategy to survive against its primarily predators, the Arctic wolves. But how do you think they survive in the harsh, unforgiving Arctic? The musk ox derives its name from the strong, musky odor it produces during mating season, which isn't truly a musk. It is a bovid that weighs around 200 to 300 kilograms and dwells at the peak of the northern hemisphere. Their bodies are massive in general, and they may stand up to 5 feet tall at the shoulder. In fact, musk oxen are vital plant predators in their natural habitats, and their grazing most likely contributes in seed dispersal. They are also an essential source of food for Arctic scavengers, such as polar bears, brown bears, and, most notably, Arctic wolves. Musk's Behavior Musk oxen are herd animals, and herds of two or three dozen animals are occasionally headed by a single female. To combat wolf or dog predation, herds employ cooperation. When they are threatened, they circle the wagons and line up with their young in the center and their pointy horns pointing outward toward their enemies. A musk ox that is cornered may be a terrifying foe, rushing with its huge size and attempting to wield its horns to lethal effect. Musk ox defense mechanism, circle defense. Musk oxen are famous for their cunning defense against wolves and other predators. When they perceive danger that's approaching, musk oxen group themselves to make great efforts to defend their young. If there is just one predator, such as a lone wolf, the first defense approach is to form a line. If a wolf pack surrounds the group, the musk oxen will form a tight circle with all of their heads and horns pointing outward, producing an army of heads and horns. Calves will embrace their moms or cluster within a circle and one of the oxen will occasionally assault the enemy. Then it will immediately rejoin the others. There is no way wolves will attack the herd of musk ox without their calves alone. Wolves can't live a day without food. Seeing their favorite helpless young musk ox, they will surely get it no matter what it takes. However, musk ox will not let them do so. They are more likely one for all, all for one pack, of musk ox. They didn't let one of their herd to be a meal of their greatest enemy. If the herd doesn't run and instead forms a tight defensive configuration, their defense is nearly unconquerable. A musk ox that has been removed from the herd or has been isolated from the others, it's considerably easier to catch. This circular barrier, ironically, has rendered musk oxen vulnerable to some predators. Instead, it is their effective, clever tactic against a predator like the wolf. With this, it creates a massive effect on musk ox populations in several regions. Musk's Nature Generally, the musk ox is a stocky, long-haired animal with a small shoulder hump, short legs, and an extremely short tail. Mature male bulls are around 5 feet tall at the shoulder and weigh 600 to 800 pounds. Female calves are smaller, standing about 4 feet tall and weighing 400 to 500 pounds. Both male and female musk oxen have horns that they maintain their whole lives. Although bull horns are bigger and heavier than cow horns, a mature male skull is 3 inches thick and the horn boss is 4 inches thick. The large head and horns are utilized in dominance displays as well as defense against their major natural predators bears, and wolves. In fact, they are mad musk oxen. Musk oxen are not migratory due to their short legs. Their broad, widely spread hooves give excellent grip and serve as an excellent tool for pawing through snow to forage. Their coats are divided into two layers, a large, coarse outer layer and a short, fine underwool called a kiviute. The coarse outer layer of guard hairs reaches close to the ground protecting kiviute, shedding water, and keeping insects at bay. 
the dense inner coat kiviute offers insulation, reaches into the nostrils, and is lost in the summer. During the severe winters, they conserve energy simply by standing or lying immobile. They are extremely energy efficient, slowing their respiration, heart rate, and digestion to allow them to live on less food until spring. Their small size also aids in minimizing heat loss and conserving energy. Believe it or not, the musk ox is one of North America's oldest animals. Having remained practically unaltered since the last ice age, the University of Alaska Fairbanks Museum of the North has prehistoric musk ox fossils on exhibit. Also, the Nupiaq people of Arctic Alaska refer to them as Umingmak, or bearded one, and they have outlived woolly mammoths, saber-toothed tigers, and many other species from the last ice age over 11,700 years ago. The eyes of musk oxen are horizontal, acting as sunglasses to decrease glare from the sun reflected off snow and ice. Musk oxen may be found in the Arctic tundra of Canada, Greenland, Russia, Sweden, Norway, and of course, Alaska, where they dwell farther north than most other hooved animals. Musk oxen were nearly hunted to extinction in the 1800s before being reintroduced in the 1930s. Today, over 5,300 Alaska musk oxen may be found across the state. However, they're still struggling for life since their protection system is efficient against natural predators such as bears and wolves. Habits and Lifestyle They spend the summer in moist regions such as thickly vegetated river valleys and migrate to higher elevations in the winter to avoid deep snow. Because musk oxen are not well suited to burrowing through thick snow for food, their winter habitat is typically limited to places with shallow snow accumulations or areas. Look at their hooves. They are great snowshoes, but it can't help them to dig very well in the snow. And that's why they go more likely on a higher elevation of snow. And from August through October, musk oxen breed. And cows give birth to a calf the following April, May, or June after an eight-month gestation. If food is short and the weather is severe, cows may not give birth every year. They are gregarious and active as day animals. In the winter, they dwell in herds of 12 to 24 individuals, while in the summer, they reside in herds of 8 to 20 individuals. They do not have territories, although they do use pre-orbital glands to mark their routes. Male and female musk oxen have distinct age hierarchies, with adult oxen dominating youngsters. Dominant oxen have access to the greatest resources and will evict subordinates from areas of grass throughout the winter. Musk ox bulls establish their authority in a variety of ways. One example is a rush and butt, in which a dominant bull assaults a subordinate from the side with its horns and warns the subordinate so it may flee. Bulls will yell, whip their heads, and claw the ground as well. Subordinate bulls are occasionally treated like cows by dominant bulls. A dominant bull will gently kick a subordinate with its foreleg, just as cows do during mating season. By charging a dominating bull, a subordinate bull might alter his status, and when the herd is endangered, the bulls and cows will turn outward to create a fixed ring or semicircle around the calves. Bulls are generally the first line of defense against predators, with cows and youngsters crowding around them. Bulls determine the defensive formation during rutting, while the cows decide the rest of the year. Reproduction of the musk ox. After defeating all of his opponents, the largest and strongest guy marries a harem of females, consisting not just one or two, but a dozen or more female musk ox. When the mating season is through, the females take over the herd. The pregnant women select where to go and how far they will travel. Their gestation span is eight to nine months long. The female, referred to as a cow, will nurse the calf for two months before weaning it. Calves are connected to their mothers for two years and often stay with their herd for a lengthy amount of time. Domestication. The musk ox has been tamed by humans. Since the 1950s, humans have carefully bred one herd in Alaska 
People raise these animals primarily for the production of wool, milk, and meat. Previously common over the Arctic, but wiped off in many areas because of overhunting, musk oxen are grazing animals that are more closely related to sheep and goats than to the oxen. Their Latin name, ovibos, literally translates as sheep ox. Musk ox and human interaction. Unfortunately, people killed out many distinct musk ox populations across their range. Hunting was the greatest direct human influence. The oxen were hunted by humans for their flesh and fur. Unfortunately, humans are not the only ones that have an impact on these animals. Musk ox numbers are also declining as a result of climate change. Fortunately, reintroduction initiatives and conservation measures have helped the population to recover as a whole to bounce back. Musk ox threats and concern against humans. Humans who have hunted musk ox for millennia are likewise unaffected by the animal's protection. In the past, Canadian Inuit hunters would employ dogs to stalk a herd and circle it, making the musk oxen easier to kill with a bow and arrow or spear. Today, these creatures constitute an important source of food for local villages, particularly in Arctic Canada, where the meat from these animals has a long history of use, and in certain Alaskan settlements, such as those on the Seward Peninsula. Native Americans have long utilized musk ox skins for sleeping blankets and horns for tools. In modern Alaska, the silky warm underfur is spun into yarn and used to produce commercially sold apparel. To the verge of extinction, although musk oxen and local people coexisted for millennia, the Arctic saw a dramatic shift in the late 1800s, when gun-wielding whalers, fur dealers, and explorers wiped off whole populations. Musk oxen were an accessible target due to their defense methods of circling or holding their position in a closed line. The musk ox vanished from many sections of its native range, including Alaska, in a relatively short period of time. The Canadian government protected musk oxen from hunting in 1917, and the animals began to recover gradually. And there are currently over 100,000 in Canada, primarily on the high Arctic islands, with an additional 12,000 in Greenland. Transplanted herds were also created in Norway and Russia to protect the species from extinction. These herds can still be seen today. Musk ox care. With the exception of habitat, care in zoos and on farms is identical to that of other bovines. They thrive in chilly regions, but may adapt to warmer ones. Musk oxen live in herds, and keepers provide the herds with plenty of space to roam and graze on grasses. Of course, keepers provide additional food to the animals in the form of hay and pellet feed. These big animals reproduce effectively in agricultural and zoological settings. There you have it. This is how musk oxen defend their youngs against packs of wolves that hunt them all over the Arctic. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And while you're here, check out our video on the 10 weirdest things ever found inside animals.